When God sets forth salvation, He doesn't say, wait till I come do something. He says, here it is. It is a free gift. Do you know what you're supposed to hear in free gift? And come on. If I pull a little child aside, just a three or a four year old, one of the little children in the church, and I said, it's a free gift. That little child can look and say, that means if I go over and I get it, it's mine. You say, it can't possibly be that easy. Brethren, it is that simple. And yet, to men and women who are just absolutely bent on saving themselves, it's impossible. To the man or the woman who wants to offer something to God that he has done. When a, when a man comes along and says, I will not be saved that easy. If you told me to walk on my knees till they were bloody, I could do that. But that's, and, and you know what you say, that's ridiculous. That sounds absurd. The sad fact is most men would rather try to earn their salvation and go to hell. Men are so proud and so bent on offering God something, some performance, something they can do, that most men would rather perish than simply say, I have nothing to offer God. You see, to walk over and take a free gift means you don't have anything to offer. You've got to have it free or you're without hope. Oh, it's the best news in the world for the person who realizes, I have tried and every attempt has just been failure. Lord, if you don't save me, I can't be saved. To the person that gets to that place and they realize, i got to have it totally aside from anything I do. God says, here it is for free. My son, by his obedience, we're going to see that next week. My son, by his obedience, earned the righteousness you don't have. That's the basis for me able to give you this salvation. I'll count His righteousness to you. And I send my Son to the cross to suffer in your place for your sins. He's done everything that needs to be done for you to be accepted into everlasting paradise. Here it is. Just come take it for free. It's a free gift. May God give you ears to hear. It's free. You say, but I gotta, I gotta wait till God. It's free gift. Come take it. Receive it. That's the word. That's the word in verse 17. Receive. You've got to receive it. To as many as received him. That's what it says in John chapter 1. To as many as receive him. He gives the full honors to become a son of the Most High. To as many as receive. Take it. It's a free gift. You say, is it that easy? Can I come and can I take it? And I'll have it. And I'll have all that you just talked about. If you want to be saved from your sins, absolutely. Here it is. You take it. Not in my hands. In His. You say, but I see you, but I don't see Him. It says, call upon the name of the Lord. You won't be ashamed. He turns none away. He said, he says, everyone who comes to me, he said, I, he does not turn them away. He does not cast them out. He said, how do I come to him? He's right here. He's in our midst. He's almighty God. He knows no bounds. He's near to all of us. If you call, he hears you. 
You can say it inside. You can cry out to him without making audible noises with your mouth. He hears. He knows the thoughts. Many have cried out to him on the inside. He's heard and come and rescued them immediately. You call upon him. It's, it's that free. And it's to be received by whoever's thirsty. If you're thirsty, you go to him and drink. Well, may God give us all ears to hear.